Hello guys, I continue my series of building a typical Laravel SaaS. So today you will see a video number two from this new course on Laravel Daily. And topic of today will be sign in with Google and GitHub, so Laravel Socialite, but I will also show how to test it all locally. So generally in this course, I want to get deeper into each subject. That's why the videos are longer. So for example, 13 minutes in this case, which is not that typical for this YouTube channel. And also inside the course on Laravel Daily, not on YouTube, you will get access to the repository from this lesson because now it's something actually created and built and something to analyze. So on YouTube, I will not publish the repository links. This will be for premium members of Laravel Daily, so subscribe to the membership. Anyway, let's get back to the content of signing in with Google or GitHub on top of Livewire Starter Kit in this case. In this video, we'll talk about social logins, pretty typical function for every SaaS. So someone could continue with Google or GitHub in our case. So we will add those features on top of the default Livewire Starter Kit in this case but the whole functionality is global, not specifically about Livewire, but I will show you how to add those buttons with Flux as well. But the main problem with such functionality in my experience over many projects is how do you actually test if it works? Because the hardest part is not to write Laravel code for this, is to set up accounts, projects, and credentials on Google, GitHub, or other providers to make it all work together. So I will show you that in this video a bit later, but for now we need to look at the main package that drives all that thing. I will zoom out. This is Laravel Socialite, which can help you to log in with GitHub, Google, Facebook, or other providers. So in the documentation, you may find the general instructions for how to set up the credentials and how to set up the authentication. So basically we need two URLs where to redirect to after someone clicks that button and also the callback from Google or GitHub to perform the user creation process. So first I will show you the code and then the demonstration how it works with Google and GitHub. And I already have written the code behind the scenes to save you some time from watching me typing. This is my personal style, but I will explain it as thorough as I can. So first things first, we need to install Laravel Socialite with just Composer required, nothing fancy here. Then we add those two rights that the documentation is talking about. We need to have redirect and we need to have callback. And in this case, since we are using multiple providers, this becomes a variable. Maybe in your case, you're allowing just sign it with only GitHub or only Google, then you may skip that one. And then we have socialite controller with that redirect powered by socialite driver redirect validate provider is a function inside. In here, you just validate those providers that you support. And then Socialite takes care of where to redirect to. And then if the sign-in is actually successful, then it reaches the callback, gets the user from the provider from that driver from GitHub or Google, and then performs the eloquent operation first or create and then logs in the user and redirects back to homepage or dashboard. Now, these columns are new in the database. So for that, we have a new migration, adding those fields, both nullable, both string to the users table. And also optionally, this is debatable. You may change password to nullable because in case of user coming from social network, the password is actually non-existent. And then in the down migration, you may return it back to nullable false. Also, of course, in the user model, we need to add those as fillables. Then in the register or login blade, we need to add those buttons to those URLs. I asked AI Claude to generate those buttons for me, and the result surprised me from a good side. It generated flux button with the icon. You saw that visually, but I can show it again. This is a zoomed in version, but it looks really good in my opinion, really clean. This is again Livewire starter kit thing with flux by the same Kayla Porzio, creator of Livewire. But the main thing that you need to know is route, socialize, redirect with the parameter. Your button may be styled differently. It may be a link, it may be whatever. What you need to use is these two routes. And then all the other form for sign-in stays as it was, form register with alt inputs based on your starter kit. So we're just adding new functionality here. And for that functionality to work, we need to configure the providers. 
And this is where I get to demonstrating Google and GitHub how to create those projects and how to set up these variables. So in the config services, or in fact wherever, but services is a typical file where you would store the credentials for third-party applications, and you may structure them however you want, but I just structure provider and then three credential variables. And then after you set up the projects on Google and GitHub, you fill them in in your .env file. Important part, if you work with a team, or in fact, even if you don't, .env.example. So there's a file .env.example that comes from default Laravel with default values for a lot of things. And this is important if you add new variables here, that file is pushed to the repository for other developers to see what variables and what, what specific variable names they need to add to their .env files locally. So just a general rule, if you're adding new values to your .env, don't forget to add the same keys with empty values or with some default values into .env.example because .env is not pushed to the repository to the GitHub. It's ignored for reason, of course, for security, but .env.example is the one kind of set of rules for other developers and various automations for remote servers. And now I will demonstrate it to you in action. So we'll set up Google project, GitHub project, and we'll test the social buttons from our local server. How to create a project in Google console to be used as Google sign in. So you go to Google cloud, console cloud, google.com, and then you choose a new project. In this case, I open project picker and I have a lot of old projects, but I choose new project. I have zoomed that in and you choose the project name, whatever, Laravel SaaS course, for example. Now we should go to APIs and services. And here we need to create our auth consent screen. And of course we need to pick our new project because for some reason it's not automatically chosen. So let's click get started and you fill in the form. The name of the application, you click next, audience external, then contact information is how you get notified and I agree with terms, continue, create. And then you need to create auth client. Application type web application, name same Laravel SaaS course which will be visible to your users and then this is important authorized redirect URIs and here we need to add our callback URL from our routes web this one so in this case it will be auth google callback but what would be the actual URL we cannot use .test domain locally I'm working with my Laravel herd so the domain is sas.test but it's not accessible from outside from Google or whatever provider. And you have a few options here. First, Google allows you to have local host as a domain, so HTTP local host, or also HTTP 127.0.0.1 like home. But in my case, I haven't found how to do that on Laravel herd because Laravel herd expects .test domains. Another option is, of course, deploy that project to some server, staging server, and then have the real URL from there. And the final option is to use external service to provide you the URL. Two most popular ones are ngrok outside of Laravel community, or in Laravel community, there's Expose by Beyond Code, and also the same authors of Laravel Herd. So in Laravel Herd, you just enter the Expose token and you get the URL. And you can try it for free. This is not a free service and Grok isn't free either, but let's try to register and get temporary free URL for now for this video. So here I am inside of Expose dashboard and I choose via Laravel Herd and I have the token to activate. And in my Laravel Herd in Expose, I just paste the token. And then if we go back to Laravel herd documentation, we need to run herd share. So I go back to my terminal and launch herd share, expose, Black Friday deal. And yeah, I have the public URL that I can use for Google sign in. And in the free version of expose, you have one hour to use that URL, as I understand. And if we follow that link, in the browser, I see Laravel project. Great, so it works. Let's try to set up in the Google sign in. So authorize redirect URIs, I paste that URL, auth Google callback, like this. And that's it, create, and we should get the credentials. So we have client ID, which we need to paste in our .env file. In .env.example, we have these without values, then I copy them into 
.env at the bottom for both Google and GitHub. And for client ID, this is exactly what we need. So I paste this long client ID. Then I was expecting client secret to appear here, but for some reason it didn't. And download JSON doesn't work for some reason. So I will click around and look for client secret. Oh, so this is the explanation. Starting in November, viewing and downloading client secret will no longer be available. But I have a client secret here and I can copy that with a button and paste in here in client secret. And finally, callback URL should be the same as Google redirect. So this one here, let's try it out. Here I am in my SAS test. I click login or register, doesn't matter. They both have that button continue with Google and that continue with Google gets us to redirect URL. So this one auth Google redirect and let's see what happens. I click here, continue with Google, choose an account to continue to share it with expose. Okay. I choose my email sign in to share it with expose. This is kind of the downside if you're using some provider for that URL and I got the error and yeah, I forgot one thing. In our socialite controller, when working with Expose or Ngrok where URL is different, you don't have the same session of user. So for that, you need to change that to stateless redirect like this and same stateless user here. And let's try that again. Log in, continue with Google account sign in and yeah i seem to be on the dashboard logged in but without any styling which means on that url npm install hasn't been executed and css doesn't work but basically if no errors that means that we have logged in successfully if we go to our sas.test we don't have that session active because the session is on that expose url but we have tested that google sign in actually works I know it's not ideal scenario, probably ideal scenario would be your own URL on some staging server, which you then put in .env file here instead of localhost. Or in fact, good reminder, I should change that to sas.test, but for now it didn't cause any issues. But yeah, my personal preference actually is to test Google sign in or GitHub sign in a bit later on staging server when the project is out of local environment. But I just wanted to show you how to do that locally if you do want to make sure that the function works correctly. Now let's try the same thing for Google account. So to have Google application, you have to go to settings and then in settings down below, you have developer settings and then you go to all auth apps. In this case, I will be using my personal GitHub account, Povilus Corp. I also have Laravel daily kind of a corporate, but it doesn't really matter. You just click new all auth app here and you fill in the form with name and URL. That doesn't really matter. This is more like formal things and callback URL. This is what does matter. And to get that URL, I will again launch hard share because I'm shooting this part of the video later than one hour. So I have a new shared with exposed domain name, which should work in the browser as well. Good. So now I can put that into GitHub here in the callback URL should be auth GitHub callback. We register the application. And in this case, it's easier than Google. So you have client ID right away. You copy and paste it into env redirect uri should be the new url so it's not even in sync so this one will not work anymore and here we put auth github callback like this and then client secret from github we click on generate a new client secret and then i have this new client secret to copy and paste and of course i will delete all those applications after this video is done. So that's why I'm kind of safely exposing those credentials. And now we can try out GitHub sign in. So here I am in my register form again, continue with GitHub, authorize. As you can see, this is the application name we entered, authorize. And yeah, again, we are on that shared with expose.com domain without CSS, which means that actually it is working. And another proof that it's actually working in our local database, we have this. So I have the name from GitHub account, the email, auth provider, auth ID, and basically we have a new user in local database.